welcome back viewers. Today we will be testing Eller's Hurst Coefficient. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. And as a team, we will all profit from it when we are done. You can find a link to the first video down below in the description, and you should also see it pop up in the top corner right now. There is also a link down below to sign up for trading view. You can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Discord is a free group communication platform where we are having great discussions about all things to do with trading. Lastly, if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates, but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel, you can sign up for our $9 Patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform, give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, as I said, today we will be testing Eller's Hurst Coefficient. Before we do, though, I wanted to put the indicator scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested 285 indicators. And out of those 285 indicators, 112 of them have been winners, which means that they have met or exceeded the 60% win-loss ratio threshold that we have set for them. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. But as we are working on building the best trading system possible, you could take any one of those 112 indicators and get out there and start potentially profitably trading the markets with them now. So go back and watch those videos, make a list of those indicators, and get out there and see what you can do with them. But stick with us here as we work on maximizing your trading profits. All right. So today's indicator is Eller's Hurst Coefficient Indicator. You can see it here on the bottom of the screen. And so this one actually is kind of a, uh, a two-part. So it's on the bottom of the screen, but it also affects the candle color themselves. And so if you see uh, here on the bottom of the screen, we have an oscillating line and it turns from red to green and back and forth. Let's see if we can't... Uh Let's do this. Let's bump up the size of these tad bit there. Ah, there we go. And so I did change the color on these. So the red and the green is a tad bit different as far as shade goes. Uh, but you can see that as it turns green here, the uh, oscillating line, you can also see that the candles up here uh, also turn green for that period of time and then as it goes to red you can see that the candles uh, also go to red now this is um this is kind of handy if you are really trying to determine exactly what candle uh, a specific color change took place on uh, but personally i am not a huge fan of changing the bar colors and so typically I go in and I will turn that off and so we are left with the oscillating line here on the bottom of the screen and again when uh, what we're looking for is the switch from green to red and back so when the oscillating line goes green we are looking to take a long position 
for a long signal. And when the oscillating line turns red, we are looking to go short or take a, a short signal. And that's pretty much how we will be testing it today. Pretty simple setup, not a whole lot to it. We've played around with a few other indicators that uh, are kind of similar to this. So we get the first, actually that might, yep, that one's not gonna work. That one has just not quite uh, into the year yet. So let's go ahead and play it forward a little bit more. All right, so we pick up a short signal doo, 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 right there on that one. Let's go ahead and keep playing this out a little bit. And unfortunately that short signal did not work out for us. So we will keep that red. Then we pick up a long signal right, right there on that one. And it looks like this one did get us to take profit. Yep, it did get us to take profit. So we have a winning signal on that one. All right, let's continue to play this forward here. Looks like we pick up a short signal over here for just a moment. And that one did not work out for us. Let's see. So we end up with a long signal right there on that one. And again, this one appears to have gotten us to take profit. Yes, it did. All right. So far, so good. Let's go ahead and continue on here. All right. So we pick up a short signal right there. And see 90 pip is the stop i think we may have gotten nope not quite stopped out before it rolled over and then ended up going in the direction we were looking at looking for it to go in all right then we pick up a uh, long signal over here it looks like we may have gotten the same thing drops for a minute doesn't quite hit the 90 pips then it ends up rolling itself under and back up getting us to take profit so let's continue on here we pick up a short right here on this and it looks like this candle may have gotten us to yep that candle right there got us to the 60 pips go ahead and continue on with it here pick up a long right there that one did not work out for us almost immediately it uh, price action drops out there let's see then we pick up a short signal right there and that one does get us to take profit so still doing still doing decent not too bad long signal takes place right there um looks like it may have stopped us out nope not quite it was really close but uh unfortunately looks like the signal flips on us right as it starts rolling back up here would have actually got us to take profit had we not flipped signals there let's see then we get a short right there. That one also doesn't work out for us. Continue to play it out here some. Let's see. So we pick up a long signal. Let's see. Right there on that one. Let's see if we get to... Yep, got to take profit there. Over here on this side, we pick up a short right there. That one also gets us to take profit. And over here, we pick up a long right there. Also getting us to take profit. Moving along nicely here. Uh, let's see. Right there, we get a short signal. That one gets us to take profit. And a long signal right there. Which might have actually got us to take profit before we flipped. Yeah, it actually did get us to take profit right before it flip-flopped on us there. All right, a short signal right there. That one didn't work out for us. Definitely would have got stopped out there. We're almost to the end of the year. Let's wrap up these last couple of signals here. 
video is going to get too long if we don't hurry up. So short signal there and uh, or a long signal there. I'm sorry. And that one did not work out for us. Definitely would have stopped us out. Same here. We pick up a long here on or a, excuse me, a short on this side. Uh, and that one did not work out for us either. Then a long signal right there. Looks like we ooh, actually did not get stopped out. It was super close, but barely avoided. All right. And so there we go. That puts us at the end of the year right there. And so Ehlers Hearst coefficient, uh, basically what it is designed to do is to determine when a trend is taking place, whether it be a um, downtrend or an uptrend. And so let's see what we get out of it here. Let's count these up. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So we have 20 uh, signals all together. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So we have 12 winning trades. And so that does get us right up over that 60% marker that we're looking for. And so, uh, an, again, another relatively decent indicator not too bad at all and so uh, one of the viewers on the channel steve had mentioned that uh, eller uh, really did make some decent indicators and i would say that that is an accurate statement we seem to have quite a few uh, decent indicators that were created by ellers and so uh, here we go the ellers hearst coefficient definitely going to go on the yes list and we will move on to the next indicator from here if you have not already, like this video, share this video, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Also turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime I post a new video. So that way you know what indicators we have tested and are testing. Also there is a link down below to join our Discord server, which is a free group communication platform where we discuss all things trading related. There is also a link down below to TradingView, and if you use that link to TradingView to sign up for an account, you will save a little bit of money. And lastly, there is a link down below to sign up for Patreon. Please sign up for the Patreon and support the channel the best way you can.